Greetings, greetings, everyone. Peace and love. Another powerful session. Yes, this is part three to power and work. Yes, part three to our presentation, a powerful presentation on power and work. And I decided to do part three with a lot of things that's going on, especially we had a powerful presentation with one of our elders, and he shares this book that's called Power and Force. And I said, oh, man, you know what? This deserve a part three. We definitely need a part three to power and work. Now, before I go into some information um, about the part three and power and work, I just want to review the two parts that I did before. And in part one and part two, I know part one, we discussed the whole science of the origin of power and work. Of course, we talk about the power within and of course, the external power. We went into work as well, the work that you have, your spiritual work and your physical work. We went into that. This, this presentation for part three, we're going to add force and time as well. Because as we know, power and work, we got force, that, that force that's within and the force you express outwardly. And of course, the time, time and energy, time within and also time that's expressed outside of us. So definitely... Um, this presentation, a powerhouse presentation, we went into some biblical science in relation to the Job story, aka Job. Very, very powerful. We went into the power series and the stars, the whole science of stars and the raising Cain, the Canaan science. We went into position of power, normal versus natural. Yeah, so this, this presentation right here, the powerhouse and give thanks and salutes to this presentation. Now, one of the books that it, you know motivated me to do this presentation, Power Versus Force. Power Versus Force. And you know, this, this season right now, we're doing our theme of celebrating woman empowerment, you know, diabetes awareness, you know, the sweet taste of success, sound vibration, sound vibration music, and business empowerment. So when we connect these, this theme and the whole science of power, work, force, and time, oh, yes, we, we, we went into some informative information, especially on part two, where we went in again, we, we talk about power and force when it comes to internally and externally. On this one, we're going to even bring it into four levels, the power and work from above below, inside and out, the four aspects, internally and externally. And with that, you know, we go into some of the powerhouse movies that take that, that was, that, that launched off during the 2023 year in relation to a lot of things that's happening. One of the science I mentioned was about one of our elders who, who mentioned real life and movie don't separate no more. Ain't no separation. There's a lot of information in these movies. Breaking the third war. You know, reality versus the virtual reality. And, you know, with the first presentation, when we talk about even the power series, the power series became the whole power universe. And when they drop these different series and some of the information that they're sharing, it's, it's talking about, Again, from, from power, internal power, to external power, to the force. You know, there's a series that's called Force. To even, we go into the whole the, the whole brotherly co conflict, the Cain and Abel science. We went into that in part one. And, you know, they have a series called the BMF series. You know, with the two brothers clashing. The whole Raising Canaan, the whole Raven Canaan science, the whole power series. And when they drop these series, they drop it during a certain equinox time. So there's a certain frequency that is being resonated when the show is dropped. Hello, sir. Make sure mute your mic. Make sure mute your mic. We give thanks. So definitely the power series, you know, go check out part one. I, I went in. I went in on the whole. Raising Cain, the whole Canaanites, the Cainites, and 
the whole science from the biblical to the physical, metaphysically, what they're saying, the whole, the, the ghost, the whole spirit aspect of the Holy Ghost, the ghost, powerful thing right here, powerful. Then also we uh, we went into, we went into um the whole science of the Marvel. Yes, we touch on Marvel too. Can't forget, we definitely touch on Marvel because you know, Marvel went from from Marvel um how you say Marvel Universe. They call it the Marvel Universe, and you know we touch on a lot of the movies in relation to what's happening from the quantum, the the quantum medium movie show that um, movie that came out the the whole science of the quantum time we was talking about that as well you know we got people who's stuck in the past right now you got those who are just present here but they ain't, ain't seen nothing about tomorrow and you got people so far gone in the future <laughs> we on some quantum energy right here so the, the the whole quantum mania movie that was dropped was dropping some key science especially with the whole cane they if you notice, a lot of these series and shows have a Kane character. And I don't even be looking at shows like that. But for some reason, when I hear about anything, it's always dealing with a character called Kane or something like that. <laughs> Raising the Kane energy. Even with the whole Spider-Man. You know, the Spider-Man movie. You know, the whole science of the spider webs. The website. People getting trapped in the web. We know... What happened during the shutdown where most business was pushed virtually. So this whole Spider-Man movie and this whole him um Spider-Verse and this whole science and that, there's a whole thing with that in relation to the whole computer and what's been happening as well. The Guardians of the Galaxy, as you were seeing, you know, dealing with the ancestrals and the science of the above. You know, like we were saying, as it is above, things happening below. And, you know, as we see things outside of us, we know things is happening within as well. Also, you know, they had a a, a, a show with um, Secret Invasion. It was called, yeah, the, the, the whole Secret Invasion, where they talk about the whole shapeshifters and, you know, how they blend in. All of these, again, real life and movie don't separate. Don't separate. A lot of science in these movies. The Loki series with the Kane, the Kane character, time traveling, quantum time and quantum realm. And you see what happened from the movie, how they was raising up this energy Kane. Right? They have the power series Raven Kane. And from Raven Kane, they came out in the Marvel Universe, a Kane character who was dealing with this whole multiversal thing. And from this Kane character that was supposed to be a big character in Marvel, you see what happened in the real real world. <laughs> they shut down Kane. So real life and movie don't separate. There's a lot of signs that's happening. You know, the feminine energy, you know, as we in the Aquarian age, you know, they just dropped that Marvel movie with the three sisters. Again, dealing with the feminine energy. They drop it when? During the winter solstice, which represents the feminine principle. Yes, a lot of signs. And that's also dealing with at the above, below, sh shifting, time traveling, portals. Yes, so you have the marvels. Then the whole what if concept, the whole what if possibilities and of course you know you got that movie that's about to drop this year all those movies came out last year going into this year leading into this one movie Deadpool which is all about breaking the third war and that could mean so many different things again real life movie separate don't separate there's a lot of things that's happening what does have to do with anything again we talk about power we talk about force. We talk about power force. And where where's that other image with the elder shit on that image? Power force. Time. Yes, and work. Those four areas. 
power, force, time, and work. And all the in part one and two, we broke down these people. They 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 taking care of their work, whatever internal, external, however it is. They building up their power. You know, they 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 minding their business on their time. If that, if you know, if you want to say that, you know, there's a lot of things happening in these movies, bringing people that universal concept. And even with that, there was a lot of movies that came out last year, connecting to this year with. The shift is happening, you know, definitely there was a lot of movies that dropped in relation to some of this information. I know one of them, of course, was the Barbie movie. Yes, that Barbie movie. And it, that even broke the, the third wall of a uh, 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 character, make-believe character come into a reality and realize, you know, this is not, you know, the Barbie world that I'm used to it. Powerful movies. There's a lot of movies, especially sharing this to the next generation, to the children. Pay attention to these movies and shows that's coming out. The whole cloning, the clone Tyrone. Y'all don't forget about that. They've been talking about that for years. You know, the clone Tyrone movie. I know they have the Offenheimer movie, the hip, hypnotic movie. Even um that 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 movie that came out, what it was called um what's, what's the name of that movie? That came out, Killers on the Flower Moon, and I know sister um, can relate to this because this was all about dealing with status and jurisdiction and trust and how. Absolutely, the Caprio Killers of the Flower Moon. As, as a trust representative, I know we, you know, we, I'm, I'm doing a presentation. I would like to get your opinion on this because you know when we talk about power, work, time, and force. In relation to that movie, how this people had a system and a structure for their community and certain things shift and, you know, they lost their land. They lost what they, they had entrusted in they, for the next generation. Can you share anything in relation to building the trust and why this movie is so important in relation to that? This movie is very, very powerful as it shows how when you have a new system, which is paper, which is why we're going through the process of documenting, putting our property and our assets into trust so that outsiders cannot try other means to get what we built. You and I work together to build something for our community, like the powerful pioneers, and then somebody who is envious or just has malicious intent comes to try to break it up. All they need is one person to say, oh yeah, the powerful pioneers didn't treat us right. And it gives them access to try tactics like imminent domain, like you didn't have full rights of your land or you didn't properly document. Nobody witnessed that you did this, right? Before you had a paper marriage, you had to go to an officer of the court. You documented it in a family Bible. It was acknowledged amongst your community. Right. But the system changed. And because the ancestors of that community was not transitioning into the new system, not that they should have. They were able to lose what they had worked hard for because they didn't acknowledge the new presence, just like we switched into the industrial era, like the, all of these shifts. Certain people got lost on the wayside because they're not adapting to the new system so they could retain what they have. Powerful, sis. Powerful. And you know, when we talk about building relationship, we build relationship on trust. We're talking about building powerful businesses, especially family business. We build family business and business on trust. Definitely this movie is a powerhouse. Yes, yes. And I thank you for that information. So my conclusion to the information and also in relation to our theme for the month, you know, as we talk about woman empowerment, you know, and again, we talk about power, work, force, time. Yes, salute and honor to our sisters, our mothers, our women. Yes, woman connection to the earth, mother earth. Clean your stomach, clean your earth. Your earth is where we birth life is where you birth life. And we give thanks for all the womb wellness mothers out there. 
doing the work. Yes, bringing the wellness to the community, showing their inner power. Yes, showing their, their strength and their force externally. Yes, showing that they have time being grounded here. Yes, we give thanks. Showing their work, especially on a higher plane. Ashe. You know, we talk about also diabetes awareness in this time too, you know, eating certain food while viewing certain movies and shows and how it can affect the body, especially when you eat a certain type of food, you know, and how it converts, especially starchy food, it crystallizes. You see a movie or show and feeling dramatic. See how they look right there? <laughs> how you think that's digesting? Huh? What kind of power? kind of force it's coming out from that you know so that's this is one of the um themes we empowering our people diabetes awareness it's all about being aware you know you have the power to take care of yourself within do the work from within be the force that you are and express that externally yes you have the time within your mind and you want to stay grounded because you know you got that power. I say, true health is wealth. The sweet taste of success. Yes, when we talk about the sweet mwah, taste of success. What does success mean to you? What does success mean to you? When you talk about you want, to, you want power, you know? What does success mean to you in relation to power? In relation to your work? Relation to time on earth here in this plane. What does success mean to you? Is it a state of mind or ability to reach your goal in life, whatever that may be? You know, we also talk about the difference between consumers and producers and balancing it out. You know, when you're when you're a producer. You may, have, you may not have all the time like everyone else to consume as much because you're producing, you're creating. And all you're tasting is the sweet taste of success. We give thanks. Again, salute to our goddesses. Salute to the sound vibration. Yes, the sound vibration music, all the frequencies. And again, when we talk about power, work, force, when we talk about those things, Music, sound vibration, you definitely got to bring that conversation to the table. We're not going to do that now, but definitely stay tuned. That may be another presentation. We give thanks, sound vibration. Even in shows, you hear, you know, musicians and artists doing scores, doing these different things to tap into that sound frequency as you watch in that experience. We talk about personal community business empowerment yes another theme our personal business community empowerment you are the star we are the stars shine bright star shine bright so the world can see you shine we give thanks that's your power you have you, you have the power to shine you, you have the time to shine be the force and shine <laughs> do the work and shine, star. Give thanks. We have a video we also did when it comes to community empowerment. What's the difference between a community and a neighborhood? And when it comes to time, work, power, and force, this is very important. What's the difference between a community, common unity, and a neighborhood, especially in relation to time, your time in a community? versus a neighborhood, your work in a community versus a neighborhood, your power within your community versus a neighborhood, the force you have within that community versus a neighborhood. Powerful, powerful presentation. You can check that out on our Powerful Pioneer TV page. And of course, it's all about the empowerment. It's all about empowerment, empowerment, business empowerment, family empowerment, Money, your business, family is business. We talk about supporters versus consumers. Would you prefer, and I know it's all about my balance. Do you prefer 
having more consumers over supporters or supporters over consumers. With that being said, family, definitely tap into that first presentation on work and power. Definitely part two, force and work. And this one is all about time, work, power, and what else? Force. Giving thanks. Peace and love, everyone.